In this problem, we're going to verify this logical equivalence. We're going to do it using the laws of logic. Solution. We'll start by writing down the left-hand side. So we have the negation of not p and q and p or q. So a good first step is to use De Morgan's law here on this first piece here. So De Morgan's law basically says you can kind of distribute the negation, loosely speaking, and this and will become an or. So you would end up with not not p or not q. And then here we're left with and p or q. And again, this is by this is by De Morgan's law. So De Morgan's law. So again, De Morgan's law says when you have something like this, you just take the negation of each piece and turn the n into an or. The next thing to do is maybe use the double negative law because we have uh, the negation of the negation, which is just the original uh, statement. So this will be parentheses p or not q and, and then we have p or q. And this is by what's sometimes called the double negative law. So this is the double negative law. Good stuff. So now you'll notice that we have a p right here and we have one right here. So we can use the distributive law. So we can write this as p or and then we can write this as q not q and q it's easier to think about it backwards if you look at this statement here in yellow and go backwards it'll make more sense it's p or not q and p or q you see how it follows much easier if you think about it um, this way and this is by the uh, distributive law so this is the distributive law distributive law. And now we have uh, the statement uh, not q and q, which is the same as q and not q. In any case, uh, this statement is a contradiction. So this is p or, and I'm just going to put a little c here where c denotes contradiction. Uh, this is uh, by the negation law oftentimes. That's the name of it, negation law. And whenever you have uh, P or C, and where C is a contradiction, um, this is just going to be equal to P. This is called the identity law. So identity, identity law. So we started with the left-hand side, and we showed that it's equal to the right-hand side. And so, um, yeah, these are logically equivalent. So I hope this video has been helpful.